first of all, the questions, they do them in a reverse order. Which is like, what the f- how are you supposed to know? The first question, he goes, you know, he says, let me get uh, famous paintings for $200. I'm like, okay, what painting? Well, I don't know the fucking paintings. Yeah, and though. he says, this, uh, her famous smile, this guy says, her famous smile is known all over the world in this classic painting by Leonardo Not da Vinci. Not clicking, yo. Ask me in the regular way. First of all, there's only one answer to that in this faggot. <laughs> yo, yeah, you know, you your friend, your boyfriend Leonardo paints for you, yo? Yeah, first of all, there's only one answer to that. <laughs> and I, I'm and not going to I'm not going to say it. Yeah. But I may have already done. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, fuck. Yeah. The fucking council said we're not supposed to say slurs no more. The, yeah, my <laughs> I'm by my the rules of my probation. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yo! I got caught stealing car batteries, <laughs> and I can't call people gay no more. They said no more slur. They charged me with a hate crime <laughs> for st- for calling everybody a faggot at the Napa while stealing batteries out the back. And how did I know they was all gay? Yeah. I was just calling them that because they called the fucking police on like, me. Yeah. <laughs> Come to find out, them them were all fucking gay. It's a gay napper. It's a gay napper. They did a they did a now this a little sixty second video Dude, about keep, it. I keep being called out by that now this company. <laughs> Every two weeks, they got me on there. <laughs> they fucking, got a new fucking video about my God. Video yo. me saying some shit <laughs> like we ain't all been mad before. <laughs> yo, you put a fucking, you put the D to your grandfather's house on the Ravens beating the Browns. You're going to say the N word a couple times you're when go- it doesn't come in. You're going to get into a fight with a child at Panera Bread. <laughs> You go, yeah, that motherfucker was looking at me, yo. <laughs> that little, thing. and I don't care what people say. Chinese people can read people's minds. They can read. They, they should go on that Epperty show. They should go on Epperty. Yo, I was watching Epperty the other day. <laughs> it's my face. Says, I this, fucking love Epperty, yo. yo. This famous orange bridge. And I was like, boop, 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 the Garfield Bridge. Yep. Mm-hmm. Said, no, turns out. Come to find out, gold, ain't even no Garfield Bridge no in Garfield the world. Bridge. It's the Golden Gate Bridge. Which the first of all, bitch? Then why is it called gold, golden? Yeah, it should be which golden no, bridge? The orange, is famous. No gate. There's no gate. Ain't no fucking gate it's there. A, your options are gate or bridge. You chose bridge. Should be called the orange. Orange bridge, bridge yo. Not the orange gold. bridge into homo town. The gay town. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Damn. <laughs> delete this, yo. <laughs> delete this live blog I that we're I- doing. <laughs> Yeah, everyone was telling us we need to get into Twitch streaming. Mm-hmm. So, but th- no, don't nobody snitch yeah. on us though. Yeah, we got a show on NPR coming up called Our Talk. <laughs> it's like Car Talk, but with hard R's. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got a letter here. My my uh, 1993 Honda Civic <laughs> is having trouble starting in the winter. Okay, and uh, I, I I've used so what I've used cold start cold that cold start stuff before, and that works. But for whatever reason now, that's not working anymore. And sometimes it stalls the traffic lights. Okay. What do you think that could be? First of all, you Shut black the bitch. Fuck off. I don't know. <laughs> Who the fuck you think Hold on, yo, that you're getting you... mechanic stuff for free from me? <laughs> Wait I've never second, touched yeah. a car in my How life. How do you know what race she is? Because it's our talk. Oh, okay. Everybody's... Okay. Wh- you every- assume everybody's black. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you assume- yo, and for, here's the answer to every question. Go to that fucking gay Napa and steal whatever the why fuck you, you need. Get, why don't you head to the... I'm not going to say it, but the faggot Napa? <laughs> no, yo, stop oh, saying oh, it. Oh, right. Dude. We're about to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what I meant. This is just Vinny's life. <laughs> Outside of doing this, just hanging out with those guys. <laughs> Ooh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to motherfucking Come Town for the week. Yeah, I'm Italian, so you know that. I, you know, I got arrested for slurs when I was seven years old. Mm-hmm. We used to have to go around the neighborhood and call everyone in the neighborhood a slur. <laughs> yeah, what does Vinny sound like? I don't know exactly. I mean, I can't remember his voice. He's from Connecticut, right? Yeah, but he's dumb. That's why. That's why it's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't ever. I didn't realize Nelson gets pussy from Lisa. Nelson gets pussy from Lisa. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> what, is, what season is this? <laughs> season. Uh, this is the latest season. Really? Mm-hmm. That's no, why it's I, not. That's why they're showing sex and stuff. No, no. I remember this. Actually, I do remember this episode because the only people that still watch The Simpsons are forty-seven years old. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're like, yeah, I still watch this and SNL. That's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, that's right. She finds out that he's from a broken home and shit, and she like empathizes with him. No, she likes him because he's rude. Oh, yeah. Hmm. She doesn't care. The, the broken home thing turns her off. Whoa, really? Yeah. So Lisa's a bitch. She's a bitch. Is this is this the episode of television you watch every day? Oh me? Yeah. Why? Because someone lo- they love a guy because he's rude. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, 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 you just have it on loop. First of all, everywhere. I'm not making a decision to be rude. <laughs> I just don't know the rules. <laughs> you know, it's like you wouldn't call Chinese people rude because they let their yes, kids you would. shit and piss. Inside. Yes, you do, and you would do it often. No, I, that's their culture. I, I will. I'll call them rude for that. Yeah. I'll take a stand. I, I don't know. If some Chinese guy wants to pull turds out of his son's ass with chopsticks in the middle of coals. Okay. okay. You I mean, had to throw chopsticks in there, didn't you? Uh, I had to. <laughs> uh, a, uh, I don't recall being, being involved in that at all, other than witnessing it. Oh, uh, fuck. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Ah, shit. Well, we're here. Another freaking week. No Adam. He's, uh... Mm-hmm. It's Adam's Rosh Hashanah. Taking, Adam's taking one of his cool vacations. That's right. To Vegas. To eat matzah. To Briz Vegas. <laughs> to Briz Vegas. That's still the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Shout out Briz Vegas. Yeah. Brisbane, Australia. Yeah, we call it Briz Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're not calling. We're not gonna. <laughs> you guys can continue calling it that, but that's fucking dumb. Yeah, it doesn't. There's no pun. There isn't. You just shoved the first half of your. It doesn't make any sense. Briz Vegas. That was like, I, that was always made me laugh. It's like right around when the our women funny debate started happening, they came up with that word mansplaining, mm-hmm. which is like that sounds nothing like explaining. No, it doesn't work on any level. Explain though is hard. You should have hired a, a comedy writer to come up with. What would you have gone with? Sex explaining. S- mm, but I that mean, sounds that still involves. That sounds like it's about. But it fucking. makes it makes more sense in terms of. What about mech explaining? Oh, like when a Mexican is mm-hmm. is uh, explaining something. He's like, well, there's corn, <laughs> and then there's flour. And the corn ones are better for breakfast, <laughs> but the flour ones are. Good I mean, for he dinner. could be. I guess he could be explaining anything, you know. But I guess, yeah, mm-hmm. probably tortillas. I like also. to go up to Rebecca Traster and I tell her, like, listen, you're probably too much of a dumb woman to know that the co- the corn ones, <laughs> the corn ones are for breakfast, <laughs> and the, she's just reading a book on the train. <laughs> the flour ones are for dinner. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> fuck, indeed. I was just in freaking uh, Kentucky. Yeah? Louisville. 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 They love saying it dumb there. Louisville. I love when you meet somebody from Louisville. They're like, well, we actually say it's like, I don't care. Just stop. <laughs> no one cares. The town sucks. Shut up. Shut up. Go back there. Go the fuck back. You know, we have a way of saying it that no one cares. No one gives is a there, fuck. Uh, no one cares. Is there anything that your town does besides baseball bats? Mm-hmm. Nothing. That is cool, though, to have the Louisville Slugger. Yeah. To be the place that you make little baseball bats? Mm-hmm. I would like to be that town. Yeah. To be a baseball bat? Mm-hmm. Um, what, ah, fuck. What was I doing? Somebody, I, I got sent an email that I got to read. What's that? I got to send an email that I got to read. Oh, okay. What's what kind like, of email? It's like legally I got to apologize. Oh, legally. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, well, shouts out to everyone who came out to Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, and Louisville. Now, do they got Indians there? Yes. Because in Greek, Indianapolis means Indian city. That is... It's, yeah, it just means Indiana... City. It means Indian city. <laughs> Indian. It means Indian Annapolis. So it's where Indian the, Annapolis. Yes. It's, where the Indian it's a bunch Navy. of Indians with just uh, boat shoes on. Yeah. Walking around. With salmon shorts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know they had an Indian Annapolis. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, let's get some fucking crab cakes. <laughs> Who wants to go to the Reserve Officer Club and get some fucking crab cakes? 
Oh, fuck, yeah. Fuck, yeah, man. I can't wait to go to the old-timey post office and get a quill pen. <laughs> I'm trying to sail my boat. Yeah. No, I'm from Indian Severna Park. <laughs> I'm from Indian Glen Burnley. I I am. Oh, <laughs> uh, we struck a rich vein here, brother. <laughs> yep. <laughs> finally, finally they've met, dude. An intersection. <laughs> <laughs> we get to do Maryland. Wow, dude, this uh, podcast just bought itself two extra years of life. <laughs> it's from Indian Annapolis. <laughs> from from saying Maryland stereotypes <laughs> in an Indian voice. <laughs> oh hell yeah! They got this show Epardy on TV. <laughs> Just redo the first two games. <laughs> <laughs> this this faga knows the answer to do the question. Do not say the F. Oh, right. Do because not, because we are being... They will send me to Yale. <laughs> Yale. They will send me to Yale for doing it. <laughs> yeah, that place was tight, though. I did have a... I had a great time. <clears throat> Shout out Let's Comedy. Shout out I met the guy who made the fart compilation YouTube video. A bit, a huge pioneer. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, my friend. Whoever came up with whoopee cushions, must dude, be a fucking a, a good guy, like a, a a fucked up prankster, dude. Yeah, well, it's funny, is because it's like you know this show makes too much money. Yes, and it's like wow, this is weird, and it kind of puts you in like a weird, like you know, it makes you feel weird. Mm -hmm. But then I think about stuff like that, and it's like that guy probably has so much money. It's like it's not even. He didn't do anything. Yeah, he there did. was already he had one dumbass idea for yeah. a second. I know, but it's like balloons already existed. That's true. He's like, what if there was just? But it, all it did was you, you put it on his, and because they don't work either. Yeah, they stop working about four. They four never soon. work. You have to sit directly on it. If you put it under a cushion, it won't work. I remember trying to prank people with a whoopee cushion when I was a kid. You do you put it under the chair and you. Or you wait. Yeah, yeah. And then they just sit on the chair and nothing happens. <laughs> and you're like, well, this is fucking... This fucking sucks. This is stupid. And then you make them just sit on it? It would, not, it would just never work. I tried hiding that fucking thing everywhere. Under the carpet. Mm. You know? Be like, hey, mom, come in here. She'd be like, no. Be like, can you... <laughs> please? Please? I like, never ask anything, yeah. please. Can you please come in here? I'm like, can you stand on that lump? <laughs> <laughs> Please, you're gonna you're, you're gonna be such a fucking dumb bitch. Yeah, you're gonna accidentally fart. <laughs> Does nothing. Be like you farted, you you <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Fuck you, you, you dumb fucking bitch. farted, you dumb. <laughs> nice job farting, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> 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 what did you fucking fart, you <laughs> idiot? You're so you stupid. You fucking stupid you're piece fucking, of shit. You're stupid. Go back to supporting I'm my glad, life. I'm glad you got a divorce. <laughs> I'm glad you're go, being... Go back to drinking in the kitchen, I'm bitch, glad by alone. Having, I'm glad you're, ha you're experiencing a divorce right now. <laughs> fucking farting. <laughs> fucking farting ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you wanted it to work, but it, it just didn't work like that. <laughs> That's how you wanted it to go of down. Course. All you wanted was for that to happen, for you to say those things <laughs> uninterrupted <laughs> for about seven minutes, just tee off on your recently <laughs> divorced mother. Just to fuck her ass up <laughs> for farting. And she's like, I guess I probably did fart. <laughs> Gaslighter. Ga <laughs> Gaslight your mom with the whoopee cushion. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Make her rethink some things. <laughs> that is the problem with whoopee cushions, man. Uh huh. That whole thing we just said. Yeah, she's like, I don't think I farted. You're like, well, maybe it came from your pussy, <laughs> your divorced <laughs> pussy. <laughs> how do you even? You're you're six years old. How do you know these things? How do you even Shut know? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, or I'm gonna tell the fucking. The arbitrator that you beat me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna Admit you uh, farted I'm, out of your pussy. I'm gonna, or I'm going to tell them I'm gonna, you hit me. I'm going to sign an affidavit. <laughs> I'm going to find an, uh, file an America's brief a friend of the court that says that you beat me. I've got it in my prankster kit. He I came got, right, next, came right next to the whoopee cushion. He came with the whoopee cushion. His affidavit is it, already signed and notarized that child, your parents beat you. And a child abuse. 
<laughs> affidavit. Make your parents' divorce worse with the, the with the sneaky devil prankster kid. It's a whoopee cushion and a signed affidavit declaring that in, whether you put your mom or your dad's name in here so that it says they beat you. <laughs> <laughs> buy the special molestation add-on uh, buy, just that like, comes with a, bu- a hand just, buzzer. Just like Harriet the Spy. <laughs> and use these doctored photos of your dad getting a blowjob from the babysitter. Just cut and paste your dad's face. Just get a picture of your dad with the included Polaroid camera and paste his... Use the double-sided tape to paste your dad's face. And then use these... <laughs> Pre-stamped envelopes to mail them to your mom. <laughs> what does, <laughs> with a note that says, just felt like you should know. Just wanted to trick, do pranks <laughs> to your parents. Kids only. <laughs> kids only. Only kids allowed. Parents, if you're in the room, walk out right parents now. Parents are not allowed to watch this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a good product. A little pranks, to that de- little devil prankster kit. Uh huh. <clears throat> it's a suction cup to put hickeys on your mom's neck <laughs> while she's asleep <laughs> before your dad gets home. <laughs> and this is just a little cocaine to put in her coffee so she, she puts, fails her drug test. So puts, <laughs> she gets fired <laughs> from her secretary job. And then she won't be able to support you. You'll get to live in an orphanage with you get a bunch to, of cool kids. Just boys only. <laughs> playing Genesis all day long. Doesn't so, that sound great? Doesn't that sound cool? There's Sega Saturn at the <laughs> orphanage. It's just, it's just a, a product of, um, of the guy who owns the orphanage that molests <laughs> children created. <laughs> they just have it overrun with young, mischievous boys. <laughs> <laughs> you can... Now, the coolest, Made by Haim Saban. The coolest prank... Now introducing the fake, um, uh, uh, the fake mammogram results oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> collection. <laughs> you can sneak into your mom's at the doctor. <laughs> sneak into your mom. You can make her think she has breast cancer, <laughs> and then a note from your dad that says that's why he left. Is <laughs> because he doesn't want. He already knew the idea of your mom's breast being sick disgusts him. It's just disgusting. <laughs> All of that and more in the deluxe little pranksters <laughs> kid. Not, the lo- prank helping kids be the baddest boys. <laughs> the kids only. <laughs> parents no not allowed. No one watch. Parents don't watch. <laughs> it's a vault. There's a vault with a combination <laughs> lock on the outside. <laughs> only kids know the. It combination. says kids rule. Riddlings. You have to be on Riddlin to use this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell your mom you're gonna keep setting fires in this school trash can until you get. If you don't get this you little don't kid, get this kit and a sweet prescription to Ritalin. That you need Ritalin every day. Every day you need Ritalin medicine and the prankster kit. <laughs> oh fuck! Did you ever? They ever put you on that shit, my man? No. Nah. Really? Well, yeah, my mom was like an anti-vaxxer, dude. Nice. I wasn't on shit. But they wanted to, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, he is severely retarded. They wanted to zonk your my ass mom's, out. My mom's like, I have breast cancer and my pussy won't stop farting. <laughs> I don't need this right I know. Now. I can't listen to this. Uh, every week I get a new picture of my ex-husband uh, getting a blowjob. <laughs> getting a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> So he hey, Child mail- Protective Services he keeps observing me for some mailing, reason. Yeah, mailing them to me. And there's just signed <laughs> affidavit and just signed affidavit. <laughs> just don't put him on any drugs, no, okay? No more riddling. <laughs> yeah, they tried to put my little brother on that shit. He was a rowdy boy. Yeah. But my parents, just because they were villagers, didn't trust that shit. Yeah. No, I mean, it's like, I, they don't even prescribe Ritalin anymore. Yeah, it's definitely fucked up. There's, I, you, I, you never even hear about Ritalin. Well, they got Adderall. Adderall now. They put them on Adderall, but yeah, you never hear about Ritalin. That shit definitely fucks kids up, man, if you're oh, on that sure. shit. Yeah. I take that shit every once in a while just to fucking focus, and I feel like I'm fucked up for like two days afterwards. Yeah, it's not good for you. You can't sleep that day. Like, I don't, how the fuck do those kids sleep if they take it every goddamn day? Um... I don't think they do. Yeah. Yeah. They're just up, jittering. Yeah, it's fine. My cousin was just on candy growing up. 
On what? He used to eat so much candy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That kid, it's amazing he doesn't have diabetes now. Damn. He was always, like, hyperactive and shit, because he was just constantly, he constantly had, like, a fucking jawbreaker. Hell, yeah. That was, like, in, like, a, a bag from the grocery store. Mm-hmm. So he was just, like, my memory of him as a kid is just drooling all over his shirt and this fucking, like, <laughs> jawbreaker in a bag turned inside out like he was That's carrying dog shit That's disgusting, dude. Home. Yeah. And he just not even a Ziploc, like a plastic no, like grocery a, bag. Yeah, like you picked up turds off the sidewalk bag and he just... <laughs> just <laughs> sucking on that... <laughs> Let's play Nintendo! <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't know, man, but he was just so hyper. Was he fat? No. Mm. Not at all. Rail thin. Damn. Yeah. I mean, he's kind of fat now, but I mean, he's 30. Yeah. Yeah. That's the ideal, you know. Grow up skinny, become fat? Oh, yeah. Because it's like you are you are fine. You got the best years in. Yep. You know, it's like, you know, people like, oh, well, those, you know, those people that are naturally thin when they're younger, they get fat when they're older. Like, oh, you mean... The After good they, t- yeah. yeah, had sex. Yeah, uh, so I'll be in shape <laughs> while my like eyes are throbbing constantly, yeah. and it's harder to think. <laughs> but hey, at least I'm in good shape now. Yeah. Instead of when my personality was being formed, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, it would have made me a normal sort of likable person. <laughs> yeah, right. Who didn't hold a grudge against the entire world Just for the way they treated me. Shit. <laughs> 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 Only escape is making jokes about your mom having breast cancer, <laughs> about pranking your mom into thinking you have she has breast cancer. <laughs> to stop me from actually doing it. Can I borrow a feeling? <clears throat> Damn. What do you say, Luann? Poor will Millhouse you, is dead. Will you fuck my ass? <laughs> will you fuck my ass, Luann? <laughs> Can you fuck my ass? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That is correct. The Simpsons Part Two. <laughs> Millhouse's dad gets pegged by his mom. Right. We're redoing every episode divorce. and making it even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we all love the Simpsons. We're going back to the classic we're, Simpsons. We're taking another crack at some we're, of these screenplays. Yeah, we're doing. We're just. We're just punching up the old these scripts. Those old flawed Simpsons. Look, episodes. they had a bunch of Harvard hoity-toity fucking assholes. Yeah. Why don't we get we're some, taking it. We're taking it blue collar. Blue collar, real. <laughs> Blue collar guys make three like nine times as much as the original writing staff. But the important thing is, we still think being gay in and of itself yeah. is a joke. Yeah, bl- being blue collar is all about fucking just homophobia. Really sticking it to the fags. <laughs> it's not really. It's more of a mentality. Yeah. Then you see Joe Biden saying that the, the middle class isn't a number. It's more. It's more of a way of life and Are thinking you or whatever. Yeah, it's like so we're gonna. It's time to bring the middle class back by not letting Indian people in the movie theater <laughs> or whatever that. However, <clears throat> whatever your definition of the middle class is, that doesn't involve any kind of economic analysis. I cannot believe that motherfucker is. And still it's lying. funny, it's because that shit works on people. It works on liberals that don't realize that they're just they're extremely rich, yeah. racist. No, not that they're rich. Oh. Well, what the fuck is the middle class if you take away the economics of it? Right. That's what I people mean. People that tuck in their shirts. That's what I mean. It's rich people that want to feel like they're fucking, that yeah. one of, they're a regular ass person. I think it's more people that like used to do okay in the fucking 90s and then the bottom fell out and then they can't admit that it's like, no, you were a loser that was propped up by a fake economy. Right. So you're like, oh, no, we can get back to that. It's like, no, you don't have any skills. Yeah. You never had it. You could be a middle management guy that fucking did, like, smiled at people and be like, keep working on those spreadsheets, whatever the hell those are. Right. 200,000. Remember back in the 90s when, like, jobs were so good that there would be guys that would just go in and murder everyone in their office? <laughs> You don't hear about office shootings anymore. You think it's because the jobs were good and he well, was, was mad he lost it? It was so the economy was so good then that like jokers had middle management positions. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are like now the profile of the shooter, like he went oh, he was crazy because he yeah. just fucking you know, he lived with his mom and he was an incel. It's like, no, that guy still would have shot a place up. It's just he would have been earning eighty thousand dollars a right. year at fucking. Had Goldman. a little apartment. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, you don't hear about workplace shootings because of the economy. Yeah. That's why we well, need Well, everybody to... wants those jobs now. Everybody, yeah. the, you know, you got to, you know, you're, the, you know, you don't have to worry about somebody shooting up an office anymore. Right. Because they're like, well, fuck, if I shoot up this office, I'm going to afford, you know. Yeah. My, my $38,000 a month rent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just living in a villa. Yeah. Living in a fucking 
four swimming pool ass villa. Yeah, that's what I want. <clears throat> a lot I want, of overhead. I want one of those, you know, those mansions with like a marble swimming pool. Yeah, hell yeah. And I just wait in there with all the steam for somebody to garrot me. <laughs> just come up and kill me. Uh, I want my initials in the bottom of the pool. Yeah. And then you look up from aerial view and you just see big ass S H. Yeah, G S H. Mm-hmm. Wait. What? G S H. No. Your initials. No, that's not those. my initials are S H. No. My name is Stavros Halkius. Gay Stavros There's no Halkis. What? Are you fucking serious, oh, I'm dude? sorry, man. The contractors already did the pool. <laughs> Fuck! How much is it going to cost to fix you it? You can't because the water's already in there. There's no way to... Uh, you can't take the water out. Fuck. That's how pools are set up. Fuck. Now. Well, what am I going to tell people to come to my house now? I don't know. You can tell them it stands for something other than gay, but... Well, yeah, of course. That's not my name. The problem is, is that there's a... They're going to know I'm lying. No, there's a butler who hands out little notes, cards to people that says the G stands for gay. <laughs> what? And we already Whose paid... butler is I'm that? I'm sorry, but we already paid the butler. Who, how much? Went to Kinko's and... How much is the... What could that possibly cost? <laughs> for how long? <laughs> Does he have a lifetime contract? Look, he's union, so you can't. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the union. So you <laughs> when does the contract look, ran out? Look, you can't get rid of that guy. He's in the union. Oh, right? fuck. Well, this is really fucking annoying. Yeah. Can we ask him to hand out something else? Um. Well, I don't know. I don't, <sighs> like what? A sign that says I'm. it doesn't stand for gay? A sign? You want him to hand out a... So then only one person will get it. Uh, you're right, dude. Fuck. That's impeccable logic. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to tell people my first name is Gay and my middle name is Stavros <laughs> <laughs> from now on. There's uh, no other way around it. <clears throat> but I got to be honest with you, man. I'm not too pleased about it. Um, Do you have that thing you have to read? Yeah, well, I just sent it to you. Oh. Where's my fucking phone? It fell. Did you want me to read it? Uh, no, we, we got some. We got some minutes here. Oh, okay. Hey, what do you know? What do you say? There's the uh, the orange bridge. The orange bridge. Mm-hmm. I would love to go on Jeopardy and just threaten people, <laughs> just give the wrong answer and be like, "That's bullshit." Fuck that. Fuck. My this. buzzer's fucking stuck. My buzzer. I knew that. Just knocking the buzzer out of other people's hands. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. Saying every answer you get right, you say booyah, like directly into the ear of the person next to you. Nice, dude. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, <laughs> okay. And Mike, okay. you're at negative $42,000. Shut up. Read the next one. Run a next one. I'm going to, I'm about to get hot, baby. Yeah. Let's go to sports. $32,000. <laughs> No like that's not a category. Time, there's no sports. Yeah. <laughs> now please do Russian literature. The only yeah. one remaining. Uh, yeah. Who is uh, who's fucking uh, Toy Story or whatever his name is? <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Toy Story. Yeah. Who's, yeah. Fucking War and Peace by Toy Story. <laughs> They're like, uh, our judges say that that's completely incorrect. <laughs> but considering how close you were and how stupid you are, we're going to give it to you. For, for even sort of under, sort of understanding that that of, man kind of exists, <laughs> <laughs> you get the points. Yeah, who's Toy Story? <laughs> Anna uh, Kar, Kar, Kareem or Pussy? Kar, <laughs> Anna Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina. What's that book about? Some hot bitch. Some dumb bitch who lives in a shitty house. Did she get a fucked by a, by a soldier or something? I've never read any Tolstoy. Yeah. Yeah, seems old. When when was that motherfucker alive? Eighteen forty-two. Uh, boring. I don't even know. I have no idea. Probably eighteen. The first half of the eighteen. So his shit all was nineteenth century. So his shit was all late. I always 19th. hated that as a kid. I hate that. Why is it one off? Yeah, it's so fuck st- you, man. Yeah, just call it the right one. I know. It's so stupid. What, what what is the thinking there? That it's like one of those things. It's the like, first what, century. What, what, yeah, that's the first century. Fuck that. Because you couldn't call. It, okay, so it would be weird to call that one the zeroth century, and because of that, for the, the rest of them are fucked up. Yeah, or the aught century. Anything. Yeah. Anything else? That's not the first century. Fuck that. Uh huh. The first century is one hundred, from now on. Yeah. You heard, listen, motherfuckers. Anyone listening? Call the 19th century the 1900s. 
That makes so much sense. It makes way Just more saying sense. it, I feel so good. The 19th century. It's the 19th century. I'm, you know I'm, what I'm talking about? I'm the a, 1900s, I know. Bitch. I'm imagining the 1900s while saying the 19th <laughs> me too, century. Dude. I'm me, thinking about flappers getting it makes fucking... Me, it makes their me titties good. sucked. And now I'm saying 18th century, and I'm picturing... Steam. Steam. One of the one of one out of six stills from the Cheers intro. That's right. And now I'm switching over to the 19th century, and it's the second Se- or third one. Okay. You know. Now I'm thinking the 60s? about 60s. I don't know. Now I'm thinking about uh, days of heaven, and I'm going back. I'm saying 18th century again in my head. Nice. And now I'm thinking about fucking um, the American Revolution. Yeah, 17th, guess what? 17th, 17th century. bitch. Wigs, powdered wigs, 17th. Yeah. I'm now I'm thinking about the 16th century and I'm imagining pianos that sound shitty. <laughs> yep. There's, but everyone pretending like that's good music. That's good shit. Because that's the only thing they have. We have a child that has syphilis <laughs> who's wearing a dress and he's the best at it. At this bullshit instrument. That's what the 16th century is mm-hmm. or whatever. You know what? You'd be crazy, man, if you could go back to those days, man, <laughs> and like, you know, yes. rap. For those people dude and just blow their minds absolutely you know what i'm saying man if you I could do. like could you imagine how their minds would be blown yeah i could i'd be like where are you getting all these crazy african styles <laughs> and influences <laughs> and you would be the king of vienna man mm-hmm. you would be the coolest you would get so much pussy in vienna yeah they ain't never seen a wigger before yeah. <laughs> the wigger of vienna <laughs> 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 Now, there's a Tolstoy book I want to read. (laughs) The Wigger of Vienna. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) uh, Yeah. (laughs) Just some guy. The winters were long and depressing and cold, and Anna had breast cancer in both of her breasts and brain cancer, and everyone worked very hard and toiled, and (laughs) the winter was depressing, and her babies, they died, and they could not eat. And that winter in Vienna, a man crossed his pants and wore them backwards and spun around and he said what's up to people (laughs) and he was the Uyghur of Vienna I wish I actually had read Tolstoy so I knew what what kind of shit he was saying I feel like that you pretty much got it probably Russians love being sad I know but I've heard that Tolstoy is actually quite sentimental oh really Mm -hmm. as sentimental as a Russian could be he's probably sad but also like that is sentimental, thinking it's bad that bad things happen. Well, I'll tell you what I'm sentimental for. Fucking gambling? Gambling. Me too. You know? Transition slash opening points. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but for me, my game is ten times more exciting when I'm putting Dude, my money on it. I'm, I I know, mm-hmm. and I agree. Yeah. Sometimes I have a gut feeling about a matchup, and sometimes <laughs> I'm just betting on my team because they're Dude, my team. Dude, same, actually. That's insane that mm. you're even just saying that. Regardless, <laughs> whether you've been betting for years or you're ready to play for the first time, my bookie is your best bet this season. Oh, my God, I know. I literally know. Yeah. Like, honestly, dude, if you're the kind of guy who likes to bet a little to win a lot, mm-hmm. try a parlay. Yeah. For instance, if you like a couple of the big favorites this week, parlays are perfect because they let you bet multiple games together for a much bigger payout. I mean, come on. That's pretty cool. You know, I still don't know what parlay means even after you said it. Yeah. That's well, one of those words. Well, I do. Parlay is one of those words like rendezvous that got used too much by certain folks. <laughs> and now it's I don't know what it means. Yes. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is a rendezvous? What's a liaison? rendezvous is a meetup. What's a, what's a liaison? Jason Mraz ruined that one for me. I don't know what liaison is, but I know what rendezvous is because yeah. it means date or a yeah. meetup. A rendezvous? Parlay means, you know, what I just said, which I understood. Yeah, I don't know what it means. Um, I'll so tell you, I'll tell you who does is the folk, the good folks. The over good it. people. My bookie. I everybody. mean, between freaking football season... The MLB playoffs and the start of the NBA and NHL seasons, it's time to get off the fucking sideline and get in on the fucking action, man, mate. Yeah, mate. L- <laughs> listen, mate. If you live in another country, then you probably can't use, or maybe you can. I don't know. Probably you Pro- can. Try it. Just say it. Just lie about it <laughs> <laughs> to get the money. <laughs> Just, hey, everybody yeah, here, dude. the Australian criminal here from mm-hmm. mybookie.com. 
More bookies just come. I'm not allowed to use the website because I don't live in the United States, but I violate both domestic and international laws to sign up mm-hmm. and gamble my fake Australian money <laughs> yes. on sports I've never even heard of. I've never heard of. Yes, Australia's top sports, rugby football. Rugby. Okay. Boomerang, Boomerang. Rubik's Cube. Pussy uh, smashing. Uh, ride the Ebo. No, no. You ride them around. We bring him into the bar. It's one of the bars that we don't let him in normally. And he's he's like, oh, this is good. We've ended segregation finally in 2019. (laughs) (laughs) That's one of their sports. A guy told me that when we were in Bris Vegas. Yeah, I know what guy told me that word. Remember that guy when we were in Bris Vegas? He pulled me aside and he was telling me a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That guy said it? Yeah. So it's that, that guy. So yeah. if anyone is mad, they should go to that guy. Well, he had that, all those frog tattoos. Yeah. You know, the Groiper tattoos. Yeah, he did. You you seem pretty enthralled with kind of his talking points. Well, what can I say? He was a charming guy. <laughs> he charmed me. Uh, you know what's really charming is winning money. Winning money. Let me tell you this. If you're the kind of guy who likes to bet a little to win a lot, <laughs> then try a parlay. <laughs> For instance... <laughs> If you like the couple of the big favorites this week, parlays are perfect because they let you bet multiple games wow. together for a much bigger payout. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man, if you really want to support your team this season, don't just sit on the fucking sidelines. Yeah. Get in the game with mybookie.ag. Oh, it's .ag. Yeah. So for legal purposes, If you're going to bet this thing, if you're going to bet th- this season... Do the smart thing and go to mybookie.ag because mm-hmm. no one gives you more ways to win. Regardless, so whether you've been betting for years or you're ready to play for the first time, my bookie is your best bet. Because I, yeah, I, think... I don't know about you guys, but for me, <laughs> a game is ten times more exciting <laughs> when I'm putting my money on it. So true, man. Sometimes I just have a gut feeling about a matchup, and sometimes I'm just betting on my team because they're my team. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know what they call that? Tribalism. Mm. Which we're against. We're, I think it's a good thing. Or it's, we're for it. <clears throat> yeah. So go to mybookie.ag, and if you join right now, mybookie will double your first deposit. What is .ag? .attorney general? I don't know, man. It's probably, I mean, let's That's be That's how you know that they're on the up That's and not up, a great sign. legally speaking, <laughs> <laughs> is that they have an attorney general domain. <laughs> That's right. A lot of people, they hear, you know, illegal online sports betting. They're, they're, that doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> they re- that's a real big turn off for some people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people hear a criminal enterprise and they think I don't know I don't know about this. But I tell you, mybookie.com that's the only sports booking website that has a dot attorney general dot AG. That's right. Would they be doing anything mm-hmm. illegal or have shady business practices with a dot attorney general dot attorney. domain? Yeah. Of course not. And we don't know if it stands for that for sure. But could, we we have a hunch. It could stand for a girl. Ooh, Which are you oh, calling women shit. liars? Because if you are, think educate yourself. I believe, I believe women. <laughs> I believe them about Harvey Weinstein, and I believe them when they said, "I don't know about you guys, but for me, a game is ten times more exciting when I'm putting my money on it." <laughs> I believe them when they said that too. I believe the women that said that mm-hmm. at the at uh, a girl top level domain. Mm-hmm. So tell you what, between football season, the MLB yep, playoffs, yep. and the start of the NBA That's and right. NHL seasons, it's time to get off the sideline and get in on the action. Because this is a, this is true. If you use mybookie.com, they actually let you play in the games. Yeah, if you use it enough. If you put enough money down, at least it's gonna. It starts at around five hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars. Once you put down, if you make enough, well, that's actually true. If you have enough money to buy one of the teams, that's true. You can make yourself a player, but you have to do it through my book. So you have to bet that money first. You have to bet the money. You ha- the only way to get enough money to buy an NHL team to demand to be on the ice, mm-hmm. except your gloves also have razors in them. Nice. That's what I would be the blades guy. If I played in the NHL, my my style would be shredder. Mm-hmm. My position would be enforcer. Yeah, but I would you have a knife. I would knives. I would have uh, two katanas. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and you would then slice the other people's like would, skin off. And I shit. would cut people's arms and legs off. <laughs> Because I'm an enforcer. That's yeah, dude. That's old. That's, that's smash mouth hockey. hockey dude. That's how hockey used to work. Back that's in when the Bobby day. Orr was on the ice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they had katanas. <laughs> 
yeah. Masons, all that kind of shit. You know what Wayne Gretzky said is you fucking lose a hundred percent of the games. Mm, you don't they, where you don't fuck or yeah. wear a katana on your sleeve. Wayne Gretzky famously said, "You lose every game you ever play if your dick is tiny." Yeah, what if you if you're a bitch? It doesn't yeah. matter how many times you win; you're still a bitch. That's why I fight on the ice. Mm-hmm. And if you join right, join right now, my bookie will double your first deposit. If you really want to support your team this season, don't just sit on the sidelines. Okay. Get in the game with mybookie.ag. Mm-hmm. That's Alpha Galpha. <laughs> <laughs> alpha Galpha. That's the, and mybookie.com. That's M is in Malpha, Y is in Yalpha, B is in <laughs> Alpha. <laughs> yeah. O is in uh, Alpha. Alpha. Uh, yeah, K is in... Calpha. Calpha. I is in uh, whatever you get it. And if you join right now, my bookie will double your first deposit. Use promo code COMETOWN to activate the offer. That's promo code COMETOWN to double your cash. Visit mybookie.ag today, as in F A G. <laughs> no, as just the second letters. Just, I mean, I guess technically, yeah. Yeah. Technically speaking, but I wouldn't think of it that way, guys. I you I know, I'm just saying. If that's how you want to remember it. No, I think it's pretty easy. Look, you we're all play. familiar with the regular ass you, dot AG domain name, man. You play, no one needs to remember it. You win, get that's paid. a regular website. At mybookie.geocities.ru slash <laughs> Patriotism <laughs> slash Trump underscore bet dot virus. <laughs> Check out their great website. <laughs> At, 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 yeah, mm-hmm. mybookie.ru slash uh, hunter <laughs> underscore biden penis pics dot zip dot ppt mybookie.com yeah promo code uh, something like up to yeah your first double your first deposit up to something yep. I, don't, I don't know what it is but yeah como, promo code como prod <laughs> como prod como prod Como Prode, uh, uh, come town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The man, you heard the man. Yeah. Right. You heard the man himself. How about mycookie.com? And it's a delivery okay. cookie website. I'm and every, in a, you sign up, it's, it's $32 a month. And every month you get a shipment of different types of cookies. But here's the real trick is what I'm doing on the back end is going to all the Mrs. Fields franchises and buying their day old cookies where you get five pounds of cookies for five dollars. Is that real? Yeah. And then you just repackage them as like these thirty five dollar package specials. Smart. And fucking send them out to people. I love that. Yeah. This Can is you really get that? Five pounds for five dollars? Yeah, dude. When I used to work in the mall, I would go to Mrs. Fields and my lunch every day would be five pounds of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> That's cost effective. It's funny how when you're like just trash. Like, things like that just make sense. Mm-hmm. You're like, yeah, takes care of lunch, dinner. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you don't understand what you're doing to your body. <laughs> Nothing. You don't know how much that yeah. you're, just how much better you'd feel if you had, like, a, a salad and a vegetable. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I used to go to Burger King and fucking ask for, like, the food that got messed up. <laughs> and then it, one of the African guys that worked there got mad at me. He's like, you can't do this. I'm like, fuck you. I do it all the time. <laughs> Please. And he's like, give, <laughs> give me a fucked up Whopper. Yeah. And then he told on me. What? To, yeah, to my manager. They were like, yeah, the security said there was some issue with you yelling. And because <laughs> I threw like a drink across. <laughs> I didn't throw it at him, but I was like, fuck this place. <laughs> because <laughs> because I got in trouble for asking for, for, th- for fucked the, up food. For food they were going to throw out anyways at Burger King. Yeah, well, he wanted it for himself, dude. I know he did. <laughs> he was feeding his family of <laughs> of however many. Yeah. I would say about four. Four. Four to seven to nine. Mm-hmm. Anywhere in that range. R2D2. Oh, fuck. When I was coming back from Louisville, there was a fucking, some kind of, like, metal festival, and I saw Marilyn Manson in the in the airport. That's awesome. Yeah, he was had, he sucking his own. Dick? He was sucking his own dick. <laughs> he was rolling down like mm-hmm. you know, he was in a circle sucking his own dick, mm-hmm. and his handlers were just pushing him towards his gate. Mm-hmm. Is this him sucking his own dick in the security line? And yeah. they're like, no, no, no. I said, take your shoes off. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he puts his shoes on the belt. <laughs> and he fucking walks through the machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
He didn't have to wait in line, dude. He fucking superseded that shit. Celeb status, bro. Yeah. But he was still in the airport, so I guess, you know. The beautiful people. The beautiful people. The beautiful penis. The beautiful penis. The beautiful people. Yeah, he had a... Uh, he had pretty puffy cheeks. Oh, uh, yeah, from blowing himself <laughs> for 25 years. <laughs> you think that that puffs your cheeks yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> the beautiful people. What do you think the puff happens from? I don't know. Is that even a Marilyn Manson song? I don't think it is. It is that. No, it is. Is it? Yeah. I don't know a single Marilyn Manson song. Yeah, you do. That one. That one. The beautiful people. Uh, The fucking Sweet Dreams remake. Yeah, but that's not his song. Yeah, it is. No, it's that bitch with red hair. What's that one that's like American? Some of them uh, want to suck you. Yeah, the Eurythmics. Some of them want to fuck your ass. That song's tight. That is a good song. I'm gay. Yeah. Yeah, that's when they were exploring like hot androgynous women in the 80s. I'll take that. Then they went too far. I like that, dude. I like because the because you're like, wow, this is yeah. I don't kind of because at first you're like, hmm, she kind of looks like a dude. I'm really not into this. Then clothes come out, titties are out, and you're like, oh, nice, it's a girl after all. Yeah, it's like a surprise for yourself. Yeah, you thought you were gonna have sex with a man, mm-hmm. and then it turns out, nope, the hot lady. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's kind of my that's like, kind of my thing. Like Suzanne Powder, who's that? She was an exercise mogul back in the back when like you're back when the only option to not be a fat piece of shit was fucking like what's his name? Tony? No, Blank? not Tony Gazelle. Susan Powder? It's not that Richard Richard Simmons. Simmons. Yeah, that was like the only you were either fat as shit or you like bought those tapes. That's true. That was the only options you had available to you. Oh yeah, I would smash Susan Powder. Yeah, easy money, bro. Yeah, I remember because my grandpa was fat as shit and they got him like a Susan Powder, like a videotape, and he was like, no. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I will die I'm just before gonna, I do this kind of shit. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna eat myself to death. <laughs> yeah, you know what, dude? That's so true because everyone's doing like at home, like fucking, and it's like, yeah, people were already doing that shit mm. just with a videotape. Mm. Fucking Peloton just stole Richard Simmons' whole shit, dude. Here's a great tweet from Colin Corgi. Who's hey, in title, I don't know. That's fucking, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody just sent it to me. Okay, what does it say? I thought this was maybe a bigger account than it is oh. when I put them on blast. <laughs> <laughs> they only have 500 followers. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. One. Damn. And now that people are going to look him up, yeah, huh? But it just says, hey, entitled dudes, just a reminder that women on here don't owe you anything. Here's a helpful list of just a few things they don't owe you. Their time, Jesus their energy, Christ. their emotional labor, an answer, an explanation, a reply, a follow. Shut a follow the back. Fuck up. Yeah. Like what do you think is like what is this? What's that going is- on in your mind that you fucking pull out your phone and type that in there? He's just, he wants that, he wants the worst form of clout possible. I just, and you know, and then he, they, and you know he's trying to get pussy. He hits send and then he does whatever dumb fantasy is happening in his head where it's like, you know, I, I did it. I did some, people remember me as somebody that did something, that said something, (laughs) somebody that had to just, had to say it and had to say, I reached my breaking point. Thank God I was here. I just had to say something. Some of them want to fuck you. I, I tell you, man, I like the group chats have gotten me sucked back into Twitter. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's garb. It's so bad now. Yeah. It's so much fucking worse than it was. Bro, I was never big at Twitter. And now I just log on. Whatever meme's going on, I post about how I have a little penis in the meme format. Yeah. And that's basically it for me, man. I just see dumb shit all day long that makes me like just question. Because it's like. It's not even people arguing with each other anymore. They'll take anything and use it to, like... Oh, yeah. You know. Make a fake argue argue with someone that doesn't exist, even. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, who is this about? Who are you mad about? Yeah. 
Although everyone was mad at the Queer Eye guys or something. I thought Prospector88 was dead for like six hours until he DM'd me. <laughs> and I was like, fuck this website. <laughs> I was about to just shit. I was ready to just shit on so many people. Because <laughs> I thought he killed himself. <laughs> Why would he have killed himself? I don't know, because life sucks. Oh. I, I, I don't know. I've, you know what? It's funny. It's like, I didn't even think to ask that question. <laughs> I thought he killed himself, and then I found it. No, at no point was I like, why would he have killed himself? It's like, of course he killed himself. Right, it makes sense. <laughs> of course he killed Why wouldn't he kill himself? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like, he's probably just taking a three-hour break from the internet. How? Wait, how long was he not on Twitter? Four or five days. And the last thing he uploaded was a video of him sitting in his car listening to the Office soundtrack, and he's like looking around his car, and then there's like a hose coming into the drive. hell yeah. <laughs> That's a great bit. If that guy killed himself that way, salute forever. And he's, he's talented enough to do that, <laughs> which is why you're like, a, I wish I thought of that. Or what would have been awesome is to just if if no one knows who he is, yeah, just that's how you log off forever. That would be awesome. Uh huh. Because he doesn't, he doesn't have like his name attached or anything, does he? Uh, no, I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way you go out. Yeah. Did you see that thing about that guy, the furry, who like amputated his own hands? Hell yes. He I think you the, told me about this. He cut this. the circulation off to his own hands so that he could have paws. So he could have his hands removed. And that the rules. With paws. And presented it in kind of this way where like, well, accidents happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, an accident where you... Yeah, didn't he plunge his hands into dry ice? Fucking hours waiting for your hands to turn purple. <laughs> and be like, whoops. Does he have paws now? I don't know if he has paws. They, like, fucking cut his hands off at, like, you know, mid-forearm. Damn. But then it was, like, a month after, or, like, a week or a half after that that people started with this, like, well, it's queer bashing to make fun of furries. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's bring, let's bring that guy out again. <laughs> let's bring the hands guy out again. <laughs> Let's put him front and center. Wait, are furries gay? It well, it's kink, and then that like falls under like queer stuff. So I no, don't... it fucking do- what? Can't every kink is queer. Well, you saw that thing at Pride Parade where those guys dressed up as like leather slave puppies were like interacting with a four year old girl, and people were like, <laughs> "Okay, is this?" I mean. I my heart wants me to not ever be in the, like this is a too far right, right, domain, right, but it's like right. you're fucking pushing it for real, you know. And then people are like, "Well, there's nothing wrong with it," and it's like, it's like I just don't want to think about the the outfit someone has on when they're getting fucked, when they're contracting <laughs> HIV on purpose, which is like even that. It's like go for it, man. It's like just don't fucking like. Explain it to a four-year-old girl in graphic detail. Yeah, well, I, don't, I mean, they probably weren't doing that. I yeah. don't know, man. That picture is pretty bad. <laughs> was it because it's like people are like, "Well, how am I going to explain this to you, my kid?" You know, it's like dumb conservative thing. How am I going to explain this to your kid? And it's like you don't have to. Yeah. What the fuck do you think you need to explain it to your kid? And then like a year later, it's like, okay, well, we're going to have dog sex in front of your child <laughs> on Broadway. <laughs> Uh, so good luck explaining that to your kid. Is that? I guess I don't get why you would dress up in the in the in your fuck outfit to <laughs> go on parade. Shouldn't that be just to fuck? I don't know, man. And then the whole thing's like sponsored by Mastercard. I know that's the best part. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what? Like what is going on? Some of them want to suck me. Mm-hmm. Some of them want to see my balls. Some of them will fuck me. <laughs> fuck me in my ass. Um. Uh, have you ever been to Kentucky, my mate? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Where? Lexington. Did you like it? I don't know. I kind of just slept there. Nice. I was on the road. A fucking road dog. Back in the day, yeah. Uh I definitely got to get it. I I had a little dalliance with getting too fucked up. Well, a load dog. That's what they call you. No. And that's what I've heard from other comics. They call him you the load dog. Oh, because I, I bust so many loads? No, actually, uh, the guy at Hilarities said that uh, you were drinking a bunch of cum. <laughs> what? Yeah. Sam Klima ba- said that? Sam Klimas <laughs> told me that you were drinking cum. And you were like, hey, everybody, it's me, the cum dog. And you, what? Had a, you had a leather puppy dog outfit. No. I've never drank cum. I'm the load dog. 
Are you thinking of different Stavros? Um, Is there a different Stavros comedian that drinks cum? No, he had GSH. <laughs> Wait, he's a big fat guy. Man. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find that picture of that. Yeah, whatever, dude. What? Of the, of I don't the, remember that picture. Um, uh, ah, uh, fuck. My, hmm. Maybe not a great. What side of your body is your heart on? Uh, in the middle. Oh, okay, good. Never mind then. I'm not having a heart attack. <laughs> Probably just my muscles getting ready to Blake just, fire up. Blake just had a heart attack. No, really? Um, yeah. Damn. I mean, he does a lot of cocaine. But he looks less fat. He seems less fat than he's yeah. been. So, Pup Chester writes, my take on kink fetish at Pride events. If you take your kids for a family day out at Pride and they see stuff that's a bit much for their young minds to translate, then that's on you as a parent. Pride should not be a kid-friendly place. It's not a day out. That that I agree with. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. that's that's fair. If you want to make it a fuck festival, which I guess it is. Yeah. Um, Can I see the picture? Well, this is a video. So... This is these are people dressed up like dogs in this is not the picture I saw. This just seems dumb. And then here's a baby watching it happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a literal baby. But see uh, these these guys have pants on. Yeah, yeah. No, and, that's not too bad. He's yeah. just got the mask on. There was one I saw where like they're just I mean, it's like the gimp from fucking Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pulp fiction. With his ass just purely out. Yeah. Um, and that was pretty funny to me. <laughs> <sighs> oh, baby. Um, hmm. I guess I should put my phone down. I'm not gonna yeah, probably. This. Maybe we should plan our fucking trip to the pumpkin patch, dude. Attorney General Barr has held private meetings overseas with foreign intelligence officials seeking their help in a Justice Department inquiry that Trump hopes will discredit U.S. intelligence agencies' examination of Russian interference. Nice. Yeah. Dude, I hope he just fucking drags the whole big goddamn <laughs> thing down with him. He might, dude. Yeah. Didn't he accuse someone of being treasonous? Yeah, he called Alan Omar a traitor. No, he said he said like that. Lately, he said someone should be investigated for treason. I don't know. I mean, it's like, yeah, it rules. Do you think people would kill if he was like go out in the streets and kill? I hope. I hope these investigate. I hope. I think they would. I hope he continues to do wildly illegal shit. And everything that and the fucking impeachment fails, he gets a second term and continues to just act, <laughs> just incredibly fucking out of line and yeah. break the law left and right. And every investigation drags a bunch of fucking like Democrats with him. Right. You know. I hope it. Ju- yeah. I hope he's just a fucking cancer that every time they try to fight it, they end up just like killing what they would consider to be healthy cells. That would be hilarious. Like you think? Well, I thought that's what this Epstein thing was going to be. Yeah, you know, I really thought that they like people would run with the Epstein thing and then find some dirt on Trump that also implicates like Clinton and yeah. all these other people. Unfortunately, I guess you know Epstein killed the poor himself guy in killed his himself cell, and the guards that were watching all him the guilt were, had gotten to him. Yeah, the the guards that were watching him weren't employees, and there's no record of them, <laughs> and the cameras weren't working. Weren't working. Both of them, yeah. And that's that's you know, really fucking bad luck. Yeah, it's it's really weird that that happened, and there's been no inquiry into the weird temple on his island, <laughs> or like wh- where all the evidence from the case went, or <laughs> um, you know, not. Yeah, as, well, it's, dude, you gotta let go and let God, dude. Yeah, you can't let shit like that drag out. Uh, it's, I, you just can't even think about it. It's just like didn't what? didn't some lady that accused Prince Andrew like die in a plane crash or something? And shit? it's also now there's all these like dipshits trying to be like, uh, yeah, if you care about Epstein that much, it's like um, there's other things going on. It's like no, there's not. <laughs> there there really isn't. You trying to hand wash that is like fucking like, oh well, conspiracy th- like you know that fucking think believing in Epstein conspiracies isn't a personality, which it's like. Yeah, that's not why people care about it. Yeah. 
it was we were so close to having some wild shit blown open. <laughs> yeah, right. Like it listen, was, I'm such saying, an obvious case of fucking like corruption and cover up. It like you can say there's more there's important shit that needs your attention. That's mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. But you have to realize this is some wild ass shit. Yeah. The motherfucker got murdered. Mm. <laughs> no one like he clearly did. Kevin Spacey <laughs> just murdered somebody. Else. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, it's just like all these people that are connected. <laughs> Murdering people, yeah. Murdering the one of them that got caught, mm-hmm. dead to rights. Ghislaine Maxwell, no, f- just no interest in finding that. Bitch. Yeah, no one cares. She's submitting fake photos of herself <laughs> to the New York Post. She's publishing them without question. No one cares. God damn. It's like, yeah, I don't really give a shit that the president is like actively committing treason. <laughs> I mean that's it's that is funny wild. Me. I mean it's very it's very funny to me. It honestly is funny. Yeah. That he's going he's going to other countries being like, "Hey, can you help? Can you just find some can, shit on Joe Biden?" Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, "Um, I, okay." <laughs> that, that, that video where fucking like Chris Christie went on the news before the transcript came out and he's like, "You're not going to find anything there." Unless he says something like wildly damning, yeah, like do me a favor and then the tape is just Listen, do me a favor. <laughs> I love him. I know, dude. I don't understand how you don't see him as sort of like a, not really an antichrist. Well, yeah, sort of an antichrist. And if you've been let down by Christ so much, mm-hmm. it's like, well, is the anti who's worse, the antichrist? Yes. Or all of the people in the middle? I mean, probably him still. The antichrist. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, he's still worse, man. Yeah. So there's still some. There's still plenty of non-chill things happening. Mm-hmm. But it is funny. Mm-hmm. Damn. What the fuck is this thing? What thing? This is awesome. It's the planet Earth. Fuck, dude. What do you mean? What is this thing? Like the look, cla- at look what he just asked. What is this? That's insane. <laughs> just- this is that. What is that, lava? It, it's No, it's <laughs> lights from cities. Oh, shit. It's, it's, it's like a fucking mile above the surface. I thought it planet. was lava. No. Uh. Are you sure, man? Yes. Over there at the end, that's not lava. No, these are cities. Hmm. And there's lightning storm, though. That's cool. Uh-huh. Anyway, um, <laughs> what the hell is it? It could not more clearly just nah, be. Nah, dude, Earth. that looks like lava. These are clouds. I got the clouds. I didn't think. I thought that was like bright ass lava, but I guess now I sort of see. Well, hold on. I mean, I get it does look like lava. I think but it's, it's lava. Not. It's not lava. That's not lights, dude. Well, I don't have my glasses on, but I'm telling you, that's definitely the Earth. It lo- All right. The, the, yeah, it looks like how a city would spread out and be dense in the middle of the Nah, bro, that shit's lava. It's not lava. What the fuck? What's bro? that, bro? At the very end, the cracks and shit? More cities. <laughs> it's just those are fucking streets. No. It's not lava. We'll look this up later and we'll let you go. Oh, fuck, it's gone. We'll never know now. No. Anyways. Anyways, folks. Are kids still playing with Hot Wheels? I don't think yes. so. They are? Yeah. How do you know? Oh, you babysit? Yeah. I typed in much. I typed in Hot Wheels in it, but I typed Whore Wheels accidentally. Oh, nice! Which they should make those for girls. <laughs> <laughs> so just, it picks you up after. Just call Hot Wheels Whore Wheels. Yeah. Instead of a walk of shame. Yeah. It'd oh, be, Whore Wheels is an, another Uber I would, service. I would competitor. love it if there was a toy company just completely fucking up this gender thing. <laughs> you know, like the GI Joe people are like, we made <laughs> slut Joel. <laughs> She's, she blows the military guys and they come back from saving the country. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, they're just telling the media about but it. But she has health insurance. Yeah. That would be, I mean, you would probably make a nice amount of money doing that shit, dude. What, Slut Joel? Slut Joel. Oh, for sure. <laughs> if you market it as like traditional toys. Yeah. Traditional lifestyle. Or how about G-I-R-L Joe? And he's, he's mm. going to his... Uh, uh, scientist to change him into a lady, <laughs> okay. into a girl, and so he's got like a metal vagina. Mm-hmm. And uh, poor like, choice. Why metal vagina? Sure. Yeah, because it's it's his we- it's her weapon. Yeah. What do you want them being fucking like raped and more? 
Oh, true. They're still deployed. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Abby, of course. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I'm the head of the toy company. G.I. <laughs> Earl Joe. G- yeah. James G.I. Earl Jones. <laughs> G.I. Earl. G.I. R.L. Stein. G.I. Mm-hmm. Damn. Work it out, man. You almost got it. G.I. <laughs> G.I. 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 Track. G.I. Joe. Just give a boggle. Joe. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Yeah. My, good afternoon. My name is Giajo. There we go. Okay. <laughs> My name is Aluwale Giajo. <laughs> <laughs> and I am I am the professor of driving a taxi here in Uganda. <laughs> I, I am the dean of the University of Driving a Uber. <laughs> AOC is trying to bail out like a taxi drivers or whatever. They're oh, like yeah. in like I don't know, did you guys see that? They have so mm. much debt or whatever. Damn like it's like real. a million dollars. How much does oh a yeah a medallion and a medallion costs like nine hundred thousand? And I guess a lot of them are killing themselves. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Because they have like no prospects or whatever. That sucks. Yeah. Always tip your cabbies, folks. That's right. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Mm-hmm. There ain't nothing. Yeah, wrong give them with good that. advice, not money, but yeah. You give them life pro tips on the way out. Yeah. yeah. Every time I t- I get a cap, I like to say, "Yeah, hey, what happened to those bead things you guys used to sit on? <laughs> 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 what, ha- what happened to those things? You remember that? You guys all used to have those. You guys bead- all used to have that shit. The fucking bead thing. What happened to it? No, I'm talking. Hello. Hello. Put the phone down for a second. Maybe you'd be better driving if you weren't on the phone with India all day long. <laughs> <and> instead, <laughs> talk to your passengers, <laughs> little customer service. Maybe you'd learn English a little quicker. Can I, get one, can I get one of those bead things for my car? <laughs> Where do you get those fucking things? <laughs> you got Where you get them from? Like a market in Marrakesh or something? <laughs> From some kind of like Marrakesh market. <laughs> hey, they, you ever meet Indiana Jones? <laughs> <laughs> you ever come through your village, fuck everybody up, steal a fucking amulet or something? Let me ask you something. If you got the option of doing this or making a snake come out of a basket, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing the snake thing? Hmm. Is it because it's more dangerous? Who yeah. dies more, cab drivers or the snake guys? <laughs> <laughs> mm, fuck. You ever worry about that? You open one of the baskets in your house and it's the one with the snake in it? <laughs> <laughs> You're just looking for your slippers, but boom! It's the cobra basket. And what if you don't have your flute handy? <laughs> what if you got it? What do you do then? Let me ask you something. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ron, Ron White had some joke about like, you get on the plane and you have to sit there next to some guy with a picnic basket on his head filled with cobras. That's the punchline. Where do they sit you next to? Some guy with a picnic basket full of cobras on his head? <laughs> <laughs> like, no one has that, man. <laughs> That's not even the correct. <laughs> Those guys wear turbans. <laughs> <laughs> even the guys with the fucking snakes wear turbans. Yeah. How does that work, snake charming? Uh-huh. I'm not sure. No. This is the practice of appearing to hypnotize a snake, often a cobra, by playing and waving an instrument or called a, a pungi. Oh, shit. A t- typical performance also include. You know what would be cool is to see, like, a snake basket, and the snakes are coming out of it, and Michael Rappaport is trying to charm them with raps. Mm. And he's like, yo, why is the system whack? We got an orange Cheeto that's making things whack. You know, and yeah. then the snakes just start biting the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, Joey, the snakes, they're biting me up. Somebody get these freaking cobras off of me. I thought I could charm them with, with raps. Instead of a pungi, <laughs> I thought I was trying. I was gonna do a fusion thing like Paul Simon. <laughs> Where do you get a damn pungi, dude? I don't know. I like juggling and sleight of hand. The practice is most common in India, though other Asian nations such as Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Malaysia 
are also home to performers, as are the North African countries of Egypt, Morocco, and Tunisia. Oh. Ancient Egypt was home to one form of snake charming, although the private... It's cool. You can have a podcast where you just read Wikipedia pages. Yeah. That's You're listening to the Wiki Podcast. The Wiki Cast. Where we go through and uh, I struggle to read. And I'm not that good at reading. People keep sending me uh, the the video of the English. Um, there's like a British Down Syndrome. I guess there's a lot of Down Syndrome drag queen stuff going on now. Oh, is there? Yeah. Hmm. It seems like the majority of drag queen stuff <laughs> now. is now Down Syndrome occupied. Good for them. It's DSO. Good for them. Um, which, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. I don't like... I don't understand. Like, you know, there is, like, people being like, this is too far. Why? Yeah, why? Well, who gives a shit? If they want to dress in drag, dude, go crazy. Yeah. I like the idea of taking away what is already a pretty stupid competition from normal people and giving it to people with Down syndrome. I think drag... You think it's stupid? RuPaul's Drag Race rocks, dude. Yeah, but you could easily just have only people with Down syndrome on that show. Oh, damn, that would be a good show. Yeah, see what I mean? I would watch that for sure. Yeah. It would be way better. Because you can't do that with the Olympics, right? You can't just get rid of the Olympics and only have the Special Olympics. You right. still need the Super Special Olympics. Yes. The Extra Special Olympics. Except for the weightlifting portion. Um, but everything else. They're actually not that good at that. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Who would have thunk? Yeah. No, the, How good are they? The best events at the Special Olympics are uh, shadow puppets. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the holding small plastic objects in your mouth competition. <laughs> Where they have to hold things like Lego guys. Uh -huh. and, and the wrapper for a Happy Meal toy in their mouth. <laughs> wow, really? And the one that survives. <laughs> <laughs> really, I did not know they had that in the events. Yeah, that's a big event. That's a big. That's that's their number one event. Some might even say. Whoops, see Daisy here messing things up. Everything going? Everything's yeah. Everything's good. Everything's gonna Sorry. be baby. Um, we should probably just go. Yeah, yeah. It seems well, like it's winding down. Well, no. What I was saying is, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't replace the regular Olympics with that. Which you know, what's interesting. I was thinking the other day. What's that? Is that the regular Olympics, the original Olympics back in ancient Greece, were the Special Olympics because <laughs> they would often use mentally disabled people to feed the lions in the Colosseum. <laughs> <laughs> they would use people that were punished by Athena with the curse of, of hey, idiocy. Man, you're fucking up all across. <laughs> I, okay, no, I'm not. This is this is true. The Colosseum is Rome. No, I. I so the Olympics happened way before I, that. No, I saw all this in one of the Mummy sequels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Athena, who is the god of either being smart or retarded, mm -hmm. she would damn the gladiators. And that's why they, that's where the word comes from, because they were always smiling, even though <laughs> they were cursed. <laughs> why is this guy so glad? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this guy so glad he's Damn. he's got a terrible? You learn life. all that from the Scorpion King, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from the Scorpion King Three Tokyo Drift. I love it. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Yeah, so check that out. Learn about the history of the Special Olympics from the Scorpion King. Mm -hmm. uh, come see us at they Funny Moms. Make Special Gladiator. That would be a great movie. Yeah, it's like he's been at war. He's been in the Gallic Wars with Caesar, and then he comes home, and fucking Commodus has the 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 brutal ruler Commodus has gone to his house and eaten all of his chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> <laughs> and banished him to live as a slave in the McDonald's uh, territory. <laughs> and he has to compete in drag shows throughout the Levant to make his way back to Rome. And then he's just in drag in the middle of the Coliseum going, Are you not entertained? <laughs> Damn, I'm about to fire up Gladiator. Dude, I dude. want to watch it again yeah. so bad. I did actually watch The Mummy again Hell last yeah. night. And it's funny because it, it has the terrible reviews from when it came out, but it came out in 1999, which is like the best year for movies. Oh, yeah. That was a good-ass year for movies. It's, it's insane. Yeah. You think about what came out that year? Fucking Matrix. Matrix, Fight Club, American Beauty. The Mummy, 
<laughs> the top <laughs> best four movies ever made. Uh, I mean, some of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, the list is uh, fucking Magnolia, Eyes Wide Shut. Okay. Um, um, uh, Election, which I thought came out in like 93. I was always surprised yeah. that that came out in 99. No, it is a good ass year, though. Yeah. But I, wa- I used to love The Damn Mummy, dude. Mm-hmm. How about The Silence of the Clams? And yes. It's from the perspective of uh, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I like that idea. <clears throat> now listen here, folks. Why don't you come see me do stand-up comedy at Medford, the Flying J, October 11th, Kalamazoo, the October 19th, Detroit, October 20th, and then. November, I'm coming to Atlanta on the 23rd, Baltimore Thanksgiving weekend, and then I'm coming to Houston, and I'm trying to, on December 13th, and I'm trying to add Austin to that, so keep check on that shit, maybe it's coming out, I'm trying to add a New Orleans date, and some other little random shit somewhere in there, but uh, come see us at Funny Moms again on the 14th, and then every Monday after that, and then come see me every Tuesday at Fat Motherfucking Tuesdays, every Tuesday at the Stand Comedy Club. Goodbye. uh, Goodbye, everyone.